Hello chums, it's Toradoy here and today I'm going to be playing an interactive game called Weave. Now I know it looks like we on the screen but there is a reason for this which I will get to in a minute. I just want to read what the creator put about this game because it sums it up really well. Weave is a short game about an abstract journey of two characters who are both trying to cope with a shared event from the past in different ways. The experience is presented to the player using only visual language and interactivity without any text or verbal language. There is a thematic and narrative structure present but the lines defining that structure are invisible and the player must connect the dots and interpret the story by how they see it. The reason that this looks like we is because if I mouse over and start the game, we highlight that, we click here and we zoom it up and there you go, you get weave! How cool is that? <laughs> This is actually browser based, so I've had to jiggle about with Bandicam to make it fit, so bear with me if it looks a bit ugh. We have a circle, no, we have a man with a circle. He's got a big nose, oh, hello. Okay, we have a cat and his shadow. Oh, they can click here. Okay, we can click. We're trying to push this really, oh. My cat's being very judgmental. He's like, come on, push it harder. Clicky, click, click, click. He's going, come on, try it hard, you, you silly sod. Push it. Who, what was the myth? What was the myth? Who who had to push the boulder up the hill, but it kept rolling back down? I can't remember. Bye, kitty. No, come back. I don't actually know how long this is either. Oh, hello. Uh. Ooh. Well, that's the most depressing piano song ever. Hello? Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, okay. Sorry, I keep forgetting interactive. What What's going on? It looks like we're looking at some sort of sea. Okay, we're looking away. It looked like a river, didn't it? Can we open the door? It's orange. Go look. Oh, you're turning orange, lady. What's happening? Oh, now you're going black. That's not good. And not, not about being black. <laughs> Once you go black, you don't go back. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's that sun thing. It's like a sun circle blackness of death blare. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. This is really weird, but really cool. Okay, we got, oh. You go there, I told you to go there. What's with the black circle? What is going on? This is so weird. Click it again, okay. But now there's a white circle, I don't understand. Oh, okay, uh. I'm not actually sure what we're doing, but I, I'm sure there's a reason for it. Let, let's. Uh, what? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, uh... Okay, I don't understand... Oh, okay! Aha! I do! We've smacked that door. Oh, our kitty's back! Hello, kitty! Oh, the black blob of death. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! No! Now it's a square. What does it all mean? Oh, we're looking really closely. It's a Rubik's Cube. Oh, I hate these things. I can't do them. Not fair. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. I can restart it. Yes! I don't know how I did that F for reals. I just don't know. I just click, 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 click. click. It worked. Kitty, what do you see, kitty? Oh, it's red now. Go in. Walk in, man with the triangle nose. Walk in. Everything's like a shape. Like, everything's circular or square or it's a flying carpet. Take me to Agrabah, please. Agrabah. Agrabah. Where are we going? Bye. Oh, now we're in the blue. I'm blue. da ba dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da Kitty, why didn't you go in with us? I think this is all the kitty. He's doing something. Whoa, that's slightly creepy. I don't like the really fat looking Buddha guy. That's slightly weird. And the spiders. Oh, it's a frog. It looks like a frog. What is it? And why are there spiders everywhere? No, it is a person. Um, You want me to sign my triangle name? Take the pen. Oh, hang on, hang on. Turi, I'm left-handed, not... 
No, I'm not. Can I? Can I try again? Oh, please. No, I haven't. Oh, now it's a jellyfish. What is going on? I hadn't finished writing my name. I only put Tori in really badly because I'm not right-handed. I'm left-handed. Can we click the jellyfish? Can we? Oh, oh, okay. We have arrived at three walls. No, a floor. It's a triangle and a circle. There's squares and triangles and circles everywhere. What's going on? I would... I'm, I'm trying to understand what this shared event is that they're apparently trying to cope with. What, I guess it's it's meant to be some sort of hidden meaning, but... You can't do that, that's cheating. Uh, what are you doing? You can't do that. <gasps> She's turning back time. <sighs> Why are you doing that? You can't just change time. Time is a thing that keeps going. You can't just change it. I don't know. She's creating a paradox. I, can I write my name again? Stop. Is it erasing my name? Yeah, Laurie. Who's Laurie? <laughs> Frog Buddha man. I'll be seeing you in hell. Uh, it's a crescent circle. It's opening up a path. This is so weird. This is really trippy. Like, I need to be pl just on something. Weave. That was amazing. A game by Nadav. Tenenbaum? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Wow, that was really a funky little game, wasn't it? I don't understand really what the shared event was meant to be and what the significance of her turning back time was. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure there is some sort of, like, obviously there's meant to be some sort of meaning there. If you guys have any sort of clue or we can maybe piece it together, do let me know, because I'm, like, I, when it comes to anything that's sort of hidden, meaningful, whatever. I'm so clueless, it's unbelievable. So let me know what you thought about that game in the comment section. If you liked the video, why not leave a like as well, because that really helps me out. And I hope you didn't mind me playing a little strange interactive game. It was quite fun, even if it was only about five minutes long. And I'll see you in the next video, whatever it may be. Bye bye!